So corneal correction treatment is a procedure where we can correct the vision so you don't have to wear glasses or contacts throughout the day without surgery. So how it works is uh, if you've ever worn a ring or if you've ever slept on a rough surface, you wake up, your skin kind of takes on that shape, right? And same thing if you've worn a ring for a while and you take it off and it leaves that impression. Well, the cornea is very similar to the skin, made up of the same connective tissue. So the same thing that the skin does, the cornea will do. And so if, for instance, you're nearsighted, means you can't see far away, but you can see up close, to correct that, we need to flatten the cornea. So if you're nearsighted, it means the cornea is too steep, has too much curvature to it. So if you wear a molding that will flatten the cornea to the proper amount, then you take that off in the morning and then the light, instead of being focused in front of the retina, is focused on the retina. Now it clears up that distance vision. So it basically clears your vision while you sleep by reshaping the cornea to the proper shape. So anytime you do surgery, there's always a risk involved, um, even minor surgery. Anytime you're cutting on anything or burning any tissue, there's a risk. Uh, second of all, with CCT, we can correct more parameters that they're not able to correct as well as with LASIK. And third, with CCT, as long as you wear the moldings a certain amount of time as a retainer, you should never have to go back to glasses or contacts as long as it corrects that vision. Whereas with LASIK, uh, after a certain amount of time, most people are back in glasses. So it's not a permanent fix. Whereas with CCT, as long as you wear them a certain amount of time as a retainer, you should be able to stay without glasses and contacts. You should always correct the vision. If you want to get out of glasses and contacts, it's probably good for you. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, that's a simple form, right? But of course you have to have the proper correction. You have to have, your cornea has to be healthy because if we're working with the cornea, it needs to be healthy. And you have to have good eye health. And you know, so there's factors involved with it. But really on a simple form is if you really want to be out of glasses and contacts uh, during the daytime, most people are pretty good candidates. So we can treat nearsighted, farsighted, astigmatism, and even the aging thing where you can't see things up close and you have to wear a bifocal, we can treat that. And that's another advantage of this over LASIK is with LASIK, right now the technology they can only correct either both eyes for distance and you have to use reading glasses or correct one eye for distance and one for near which is what we call monovision where with this we can correct both eyes for distance and both for near and so you don't have to do the monovision thing because I have them come back the first day after the first night and because there's going to be a huge difference in vision just after one night. So they come back and they, their big response is, I didn't know it was going to be this good or, you know, I didn't realize or I didn't believe you. It's like, you know, of course, what, what am I going to, why would I tell you anything different? Of course, it's going to be good after the first night. But, you know, there's different things like swimming is a, the, you know, I can go swimming and I can see, I can wake up in the middle of the night and I can see, um, my kids wake me up in the middle of the night, I can get up and I can see what's going on, I don't have to look for my glasses. Or if they have little kids, you know, they don't have to worry about their glasses being knocked off or uh, dry eyes being with the contact lenses, eyes being irritated during the day. Uh, a lot of people didn't had other issues that they didn't realize, like headaches. Thought there's my was something. Like, wow, now I don't get the headaches like I did, you know, or my eyes don't bother me so much throughout the day as they did before. Those types of things. Yeah, a lot of people ask, you know, are they very comfortable? How what does it feel like? Uh, they're very comfortable to sleep in. And what I tell patients is that when you first put them on, especially if you've never worn contacts before, you'll feel them a little bit in the office. It's something different. You've never had anything on your eyes. And even contact lens wearers, you'll feel them a little bit, but not that bad, not as bad as somebody new um, because you've, you're used to wearing contacts. But uh, when you close your eyes to sleep in them, it's very comfortable. 
and uh, people will even wear them in bed before they go to sleep because you can see clearly with them on. So they'll watch TV and go to sleep with them on. Or a lot of people like to lay in bed and read. You can lay in bed and read and fall asleep. Or lay in bed and uh, do la people on their laptop or their phone, you know, before they go to sleep. So you can do all that, and then you can just fall asleep. You don't have to worry about falling asleep with glasses on and breaking them, or falling asleep with your contacts in, and you go, oh no, I gotta get up, take my contacts out, you know. So a lot of people really like that aspect. And um, so yeah, they're very comfortable to sleep in. The only side effects would be the same thing you get wearing contact lenses, but actually much safer because you're just sleeping in them, the material is much better, they don't build up deposits like you do with wearing contact lenses. So uh, the type of things you would have with contacts would be like infection or irritation to the eye, scratch in the eye, things like that. But other than that, no. It's permanent as long as you wear them a certain amount of time. Yeah, like we mentioned before, you know. Um, if you stop wearing them altogether, your eyes will go back to the original shape, which is one of the nice things that make them so safe. It's not gonna cause any permanent damage or anything like that. So worst case scenario, you stop wearing them, your eyes just go back to where they were. A lot of people ask me, um, especially people that have never worn contacts before, uh, the difficulty of insertion and removal. They're very easy to learn. In fact, people that uh, can never wear contacts, like I, I get a lot of people, oh, I don't think I can do it because I can't wear contacts. I tried contacts, I can't wear them, I don't like them. So I, but it's much different. The insertion and removal, because you're just sleeping in them, is much different than contact lenses as far as insertion and removal. It's a lot easier. They're smaller, they're more rigid, they don't fold and bend over and rip and tear. So people that can't even wear contacts or have tried contacts and couldn't wear them before can wear these. And one other aspect that uh, especially older women really like or women that are in the bifocal age, really come back to me and one thing they really appreciate is doing makeup. Because if they're farsighted, they can't see up close, they have to put their glasses on to see what's well, kind of hard to put makeup on with glasses, right? So now they can see in the mirror and put makeup on and it's great, they love it. 